Podcast. All right, what's going on, family? What's up? What's up? Happy Monday. I hope you're enjoying Monday's Triple Podcast. That's right, I know it's competing with Monday Night Football, but I know some of you are peeping on the game and listening to us at the same time because we had the awesome, phenomenal, that's right, Serena Ree was here with Pep Talk with Ree. She had a special guest called uh, the Apostle Burl Howard Conference. It's coming up uh, in Connecticut next month so we're here to talk about that event and a little bit about some of these people that's part of that event and I tell you you want to know who these speakers are who you're allowing to speak into your spirit so Paula G is here to, to co-host the show and we have our prophetess uh, Anna Stevenson is going to be here with us tonight so she's going to talk to Paula G and find out all about her and uh, why she's going to be hanging out with Apostle Bill Howard and you know we know where Apostle Bill Howard right because she's been in the studio right here at uh, the Batcave with Batman that's right she's been here to talk about uh, what she does for the gospel industry and she's an advocate for so many good causes so especially for the, the women warriors that's right they're coming out the prayer warriors they're coming out to pray on this universe that's right but we're in trouble y'all a lot of people just not not, not being not empowered anymore people giving up yeah, people are giving up, taking people out and giving up at the same time. If you're going to give up, give up by yourself. Don't take nobody with you. They don't want to go. They're not interested. All right, so let's talk to Paula G. What's up, Paula G? How are you? Hey, what's going on? How are you? <laughs> Batman been busy. Yeah, we had a busy weekend. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, busy yeah. is beautiful. That's right. Yeah, your your, 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 your your good sister sister Shay was here in beautiful Charm City. Yes, yes, I saw the taping episodes of the Red Room. So shouts out to her this evening. She she's out this evening. So I'm. Sitting in, I have large shoes to fill this evening. Yeah, yeah. I hope you do a good, good job. That's right. <laughs> and after I told her who was on here, she was like, "Oh, I may have time." <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> go, go enjoy yourself. Go enjoy yourself. You in Charm City? You know, she had one of my favorite restaurants. So I said, "Go yeah, ahead." You know, hang yeah. out. She's, you know, she's with got your a, people. She's got a full plate. Yeah, she's got a full plate. She's, That's right. She's awesome. She That's did a cool thing. Thing. Mm-hmm. did a thing. She did a thing because every time she she looked like she was pooping out. I said, I said, Paula G. You know, Paula G. Went twelve straight interviews, and she perked up. Why'd you do that? <laughs> I was messing with her. That? You know, I gotta mess with y'all when y'all on the set. You know, that's, that's the know, Batman way. Y'all, y'all hear that? Y'all hear that audience? Yeah. See, see how he does us? Yeah, you gotta get Lakeisha. Oh yeah, yeah. You gotta keep y'all keep y'all in you know y'all interest going. You know. So uh, it was a great show, man. Great guests. Great guests. Yeah. I think we had a house full of authors. I think everybody mm-hmm. was an author except for um, one guest. But uh, she should be an author. And she's, she's actually interested in being part of Positive Power. So um, maybe I go put her to work. She lives right here in Charm City, and she loves what this is all about. Yeah. So, uh, you know, hopefully you get a chance to meet her when you come here. Because, we, you know, yeah. we always need help, you know. It's a lot, a lot yeah. to this. A lot yeah, of work in pieces. I mean, this is a p- powerful platform. Positive Power is a powerful platform. So, you know, all of the uh, hosts that we have and new hosts coming on, it's, it's a journey. That's right. It's a lot a of journey. work in pieces. A lot of work in pieces. And, mm-hmm. you know, radio mm-hmm. doing well, the TV doing well, and we just kingdom building. That's what we do. You know, what Miles mm-hmm. Monroe said, you got to colonize. That's right. Bill, okay. Bill, Bill. That's what we doing. Good people. Yeah. Bring on good people. Collaboration. You know, you can't do it all by yourself, you know. And that's, that's the thing, Colla- you know, collaborating and connecting. You know, we have you know, we were we were created to connect, you know, and we've got to connect with each other because no man can, you know, walk this journey all by himself, you know. We all we all need somebody. Need that's somebody right. on this journey. That's right. Need a partner, need a friend, need somebody. And this young lady Somebody. is coming on the show with you, your special guest. She knows all about vision and purpose and, you know, 
all wow. that good stuff. Books, her love for books, um, her love for radio, meeting people. And, and one thing I like about her, I was looking at the number of guests she had, and her guests are are children of, of, of mega stars, you know, legends. So they know a little bit about, you know, vision, you know, sharing the wealth. Wow. So uh, that's going to be awesome. Wow. Yeah. I was excited to hear that's, what she has to say. an interesting perspective, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, the prophet says she's ready to speak to you. So, let me open up her studio mic. All right. Hello, hello. Prophet says, how you doing tonight? Welcome to Positive Power. Uh, this is, uh, um, well, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> it took me by surprise, but uh, thank you for having me here tonight. This is really awesome. You're welcome. And I know, I know, um, uh, this kind of jumped in your lap. But, you know, a lot of openings, things just be popping up sometimes. And sometimes when uh, people reach out to me and say, hey, you know, you guys got openings. And sometimes we don't. But when an opportunity, you know, open up, I say, hey, let me hit Tower up. You know, then guys are looking to um, do their do their thing for the kingdom. So why not open some doors up? So welcome. Welcome to Positive Power and Late Night with Jervis Live and Paula G. So Miss Paula G is actually a TV host and radio host. She does a little radio, but a lot of TV. And she's going to be um, the one to interview you tonight. Amen. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. I'm looking forward to it. Awesome. Ready? Okay, Paula. So are you ready to take it away? We are ready. We are feeling the power. And we are ready this evening on Late Night Radio with Jerry Royce Live and Paula G. Sitting in for the one and only Shay Samuels. I hope each and every one of you have had a wonderful day today. I'm excited to be having a conversation with a woman who carries vision and purpose into all that she does. She vocalizes her thoughts on culture and religious issues, and she hosts her own syndicated radio show, South Florida syndicated radio show. It's called Spiritual Downloads. She's interviewed the likes of executive movie producer Mark Lipsky of Coming to America. We remember coming to America with Eddie Murphy, also producer and director Joshua Coates. Sheila Ray, she's the daughter of legendary singer Ray Charles, and the list goes on and on. So, Robot, ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome to Positive Power 21 Late Night Radio with Jim Wolf Live, my sister Anna Stevenson. Oh, you guys are so wonderful. You guys are great, <laughs> and it's so good to be here. <laughs> amen, amen. It is a amen. blessing to have you. It is always wonderful, you know, when you have someone that is on their journey of doing what it is mm-hmm. that God has gifted them to do, and they found their calling mm-hmm. and they're on their journey because you know it's going to be a dynamic conversation as you share the nuggets that you have gained and learned on your journey and the nuggets that you have shared on your journey that have helped and blessed so many. So share with us a bit about who is Anna Stevenson. Well, um, first of all, it's just great to be here with you. Uh, and I love your radio voice, first of all, before I even go oh. any further. Okay, <laughs> you can come you. host my show any day with that voice. <laughs> all right. Um, but um, uh, I have a show also called Spiritual for downloads. I've written several books, and um, my show is also syndicated, but I'll tell you why it's called Spiritual Downloads. Uh, um, I went through a period where I would um, lay in my bed, and I literally heard God downloading in my spirit. And I used to be a... uh, I used to be a co-host on a show called Religion, Politics, and the Culture. And when that... while doing that, I was asked if I wanted my own show. So when I was asked what I was going to call it, um, of course, I said spiritual downloads because I felt that at the time, that's what God was doing. He was literally downloading a whole lot of different things in my spirit. So that's how we I came up with the name of the show. Um, but, um, you know, I like you, you know, in the media, and, um, you know, I have my hands uh, working with a lot lot of authors. I do book events also where we have authors on a panel 
and we take questions and answers from our audience. And, and then we have our authors mix and mingle with the guests, and they, uh, you know, they sell their books. So um, I have my hands in a little bit of it. Everything And, of course, uh, you know, the Woman Warriors on the Frontline Conference is coming up with Apostle Pearl Howard. Um, this will be my third conference um, with the Woman Warriors on the Frontline. And um, I got to tell you, each time uh, something shifts to, to the next level, to a higher level. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what God is going to do in this conference in October. Wow. That, and that sounds a little really, really exciting because any time you get, you know, a group of women together, and just the, the title itself, Woman war- Warriors, you know, you know that, that it's going to be a powerful, powerful time. What, what have you in, in, in the past and the conferences, what have you gained from them? What have you walked away with? Well, I, I've walked away with a lot. I walked away with my faith being shot to another level, you know, um, when we, uh, you know, faith is, you know, we know the definition of faith, but I, each time I've walked away, I've walked away seeing God do exceedingly, abundantly, above all I could ever ask or think. Um, Not just because of what he, just watching what he do for other people in the conference. I've Mm -hmm. seen other, what I've seen is other people in the conference worship. Worshiping God, worshiping God, and just seeing them just take off in the spirit, just seeing mm-hmm. them go to another place. Mm-hmm. So I walk away with um, so much, uh, with my faith uh, renewed, with my faith um, going to another level. I walk away with making new, new friends, new yeah, friends, because people come in from all over. I walk away with new friends, new connections, you know, mm-hmm. and. And, um, you know, that networking is, you know, it it means a lot because a lot of times it helps you to uh, promote your brand and to help other people promote their brands. So, um, there's a lot, there's a lot in the Woman Warriors on the Frontline Conference. You don't just walk walk away with just one thing. You walk away with many things. Um, You you don't just come there and walk away, okay, we praise God. No, you walk Mm -hmm. away richer in a lot of ways. Wow. Well, I imagine there are different uh, workshops throughout the throughout oh, yeah. the conference, a variety of workshops. And dynamic and today. great speakers. Mm-hmm. Great speakers. The speakers are, I mean, uh, very anointed speakers in that conference. You know, I walk away sometimes even with, um, you know, we had uh, one of the apostles, you know, she kind of like said some things to me that, you know, just blessed my heart, you know. Um, so just to be in the company of those great speakers, people who have fasted mm-hmm. and prayed and know their purpose in life and walking the path that they know God has called them to walk on. Um, and, you know, Apostle Earl Howard, you, uh, um, when she, I always say when she prays, she slay, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, so just being in that company, just being in their pr- presence, it means so much. It means a lot. And I thank God for it. I really do. And, you know, you said something that, that, that is key, is being in the presence. And, you know, there are times when we're going through things in, in, in life, and even it, it could be on a weekly basis. You know, we're going through things, and sometimes, you know, Sunday morning comes, we, we don't feel like getting up and going to church, or when we don't feel motivated to get up and go to church, but sometimes how we find it within ourselves and whatever it is that we're going through to get up just even if we're just in the house sometimes just being Mm -hmm. in the house and there's Mm -hmm. power Mm -hmm. in being in the presence you know there's Mm -hmm. power in being Mm -hmm. in the presence so you know anyone and this this conference is taking place in in connecticut correct yes it's going to be in connecticut october Mm -hmm. 18th and 19th yes and um uh, Definitely encourage anyone in that area, or you know, that we can travel. We can get in the car. We can get in the plane and 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 travel because sometimes just being in the presence of of women of God, of anointed women, of 
prayer warriors, sometimes just being in the presence is what you need to get you, you know, over the hump or through a situation or over a challenge or, you know, something of that nature. So that is, that is really, really exciting. Now, you've interviewed a plethora of people, and people often ask me this question about, you know, if there's any a particular interview that stood out for you or if there was a particular uh, interview for you that was memorable. Not necessarily your favorite inter- interview, but something that may have been memorable that, that occurred in the interview that you can recall. Well, somebody asked me that question when I was on this show before, and I uh, spoke about um, one person, but actually there's two. Um, uh, Colonel Allen West, because I was just moved by how smart he is, and um, he ran for the House of Representatives, and um, I was really moved. I don't know if you know who that is, but Colonel Allen West is one of the smartest people I've ever sat in his presence, and there was a presence about him him that I uh, that that I just can't shake. I can't forget. I was really moved by the brilliance, and um, uh, I know this sounds as if I'm uh, being um, well. I don't know how this may come across, but you know, Apostle Pearl Howard was on my show, and I remember a long time ago um, when she first was on the show. She wrote a book called My Ticket Out of the Ghetto. I think now. I think that was it. I think it was my ticket out of the ghetto, or mm-hmm. that was the name. I'm not sure if that's the name of she going to get me for messing up the title. But <laughs> I do remember her being on the show talking about that book. And I remember um, I was taken by the honesty, you know, because a lot of times people sugarcoat things, and then they will tell yeah. the good, and they will, and even the bad, they'll clean it up, you know, to make it not so bad. But I remember her being very honest honest about what she went through in life. So that was one, another guest that stood out for me. Um, but I, you know, I've interviewed so many people <laughs> yeah, until, um, you, you know, <laughs> you know, there has been so many, uh, Melba Moore, Melba Moore was, um, mm-hmm. I remember her because I was able to actually ask um, her questions about Beyonce because she was in a movie with Beyonce. So yeah. it was really cool hearing somebody just, dis- describe, you know, what she was like in person, you know. Yeah, so. yeah. I think, you know, it's such a unique position to be in, to be able to sit down with people. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Just remember, yeah. it was God, God is my, God is my, t- was my ticket out of the ghetto. That was the name of it. Now I got it. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to get God that. God was you're my ticket out you. of the ghetto. <laughs> That's what it was. Yes. Oh, God. Now I got it. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it, it's it's such a unique position to be in to be able to sit down and have conversation. You know, I always say with 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 guests, you know, sometimes especially if they're coming on for the first time, you know, well, what you know, what are you going to ask me, and what uh, what's the interview going to be about? I said, well, first of all, I don't script questions. I said, secondly, we Good. have to look at it as a conversation. You know, we're just having a conversation, mm-hmm. and the rest of the world is mm-hmm. eavesdropping on our conversation that we're. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, that we're that we're having, and I I believe a lot of times in people that I've talked to over the years, a lot of times a conversation comes out of of course life experiences, but also the conversations come out of the journey or journeys that we take through the pages of some of the books that we have read. So take us through some of the pages. Take us on a journey through some of the pages pages of uh, maybe a couple of the books that you have read, because you're a lover of books that you have read oh, over yeah. the years that have just, you know, I love to sit down with a good book because I just get so immersed in it. Yeah. Well, you know, there's, um, book, there's a book that uh, was written by Ira Andrus, and the book was called Dead Man Walking. Mm. Um, and I, if it's a true story. And I love that book because this man was supposed to be on, this man was on death row in, uh, in prison and he was left there. He was supposed to die. 
but God brought him out. And when you hear his story about what he went through and how growing up, how, you know, the parents showed absolutely no love. He didn't know, even know what love was. Mm. But while on death row, when he never thought that he would see the light of day again, God, because he reached out to God, because through all the mess that he went through, even murder, everything, he cried out to God. And somebody who was supposed to be, somebody who was on death row, sentenced to death, is now standing in a a pulpit preaching the word of God. I'm really taken by his story, Ira Andrew's story. But then um, there's also another book, Beating the Odds, the Dr. Virginia Howard story. Mm-hmm. She is. She did a lot in life, and uh, that's another book I highly recommend everybody get their hands on, Beating the Odds by Dr. Virginia Howard, uh, Apostle Burl Howard's mother. Um, oh. You know, she was one of those people that, oh, my God, she, 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 she did uh, conferences and banquets, and she knew people like the Tuskegee Airmen. Um, yeah. You know, she's... Uh, um, you know, she's, she's a professor. She, um, you name it, she did it. But that's another um, inspiring story. But there are so many, uh, so many great books, and I am a reader. There's so many great books that I have read that um, if I stop to think about the ones that really stuck out in my mind, Cosmiculus. There's a book called Cosmiculus, yeah. and um, it's about the cosmos. It's about uh, what happens in the atmosphere about the stars and the moon and how all of them are Energy. in sync. It's cosmiculus. Yeah. <laughs> it's an awesome book. Like it. <laughs> yes, cosmiculus. Like it. Cosmiculus. Yes, but, yes uh, but that's another one of my favorite is cosmiculus. And, uh, but um, there, you know, if I stop to think about all the, uh, the audacity of hope, um, the, yeah. um, um, trying to think of uh, some of the others that I've read that have just uh, stood out to me. And I've written several books myself, uh, you know, my own stories, you know. So, oh, uh, Awake and a Smile. Oh, tell us about... Ooh, awake well, Awake and a Smile was my first book. And uh, Awake and a Smile is not a true story. It's a fiction story. And um, it has a little bit of racism in it. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, there's a twist to it about uh, how this young man wanted to work in this comedy nightclub and they, they didn't want to hire him. They sent him away. Um, and uh, the guy who owned the nightclub was in love with this white lady, not knowing that the biracial guy that he turned away was the son of the lady that he was in love with. There's a mm. twist to the story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a twist. Okay, wow. so but, are you? Um, are you, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. I'm listening. That was good. I was just asking: Are you a Kindle reader or are you a physical book? Are you, what, what I'm a physical prefer? book. Physical yeah. book. I like the <laughs> feel of the book. About I like book. to turn yeah. the pages. I mm-hmm. like to look at my book. I don't like. Um, I don't like long owning my books out I because people don't yeah, give them that, back. That, and <laughs> I just like looking at all of my books. I like to look at them. Yeah. I like to touch them and feel them. So, no, I, uh, I'm not Kindle. That's too mechanical. <laughs> now, see, that, that is a sign of, and, 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 you know, no disrespect to, to the Kindle readers out there, no disrespect, mm-hmm. but the long-term... Mm-hmm. You know, we long-term book readers, and it's so, you know, it's so funny. The first time, my daughter lives in the U.K., so I fly over once or twice a year to visit to visit her. And we're book lovers. So the first, the first year, you know, I had like three books because, you know, I can get through a couple of books on that long plane ride. And then I realized the books, you know, were adding to the weight, which sometimes took me over, and, you know, and then you have to pay, you know, that extra, that extra fee. So that's like the only time that I'll use a Kindle or or iPad or something, you know, that nature from mm-hmm. traveling. But, you know, other than that, it's, you know, it's like you said, it's the, it's the, um, it's the physical book. Were there, 
were there any particular authors that you that you loved as a child or a teenager? Was there anyone in particular? Well, that... you know what, I I was a lover of books from uh, childhood. I grew up on Green Eggs and Ham. You know, oh, remember yeah. those stories? Green Eggs yeah. and uh, the Doctor Zeus books, Green, Green Eggs and Ham. Yes, you know, I remember a story about a fool and his money shall soon part, <laughs> you know, but <laughs> I've always been a John Grisham fan, for those yeah. who know who John Grisham is. Yeah. Um, I've always loved anything uh, John Grisham uh, wrote mm-hmm. because he's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant writer. Yeah. Um, there, Ira Andrews is a great writer. Um, mm-hmm. There's another lady by the name of um, um, Ivanovich, Janet Ivanovich. Um, mm-hmm. She's a great writer. There's a lot of great uh, writers. Um, and I know you probably don't know who she is because she's a local writer, but um, her name is uh, Dorothy Coloso, C-O-L-O-S-O. But she is also a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant writer, and I like just about anything that she writes. But for somebody who I know most people know, John Grisham, anything John Grisham writes is brilliantly written, brilliantly written. So he's a very smart man. I love, I love, and I love all this book. I've read, um, you know, the Runaway, Runaway Jewelry, you know, uh, Runaway Jewelry. House. Mm-hmm. Runaway Jewelry. I, t- I still to this day can, uh, you know, I can see uh, the the, the storyline and what took place, you know, but that was uh, a brilliant, that book was brilliantly written. And I also read all the uh, volumes of Girl, the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Yeah, um, I don't know if people know about that, but mm-hmm. you know, it's like, what are you? Read? But I thought that book was, you know, I didn't look at the movie, but I read the book. Mm-hmm. There were three. It was right. a series of three books: Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. I read that. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Because you know, a lot of times the the book has so much more substance than than the book than has the movie a whole does. lot more substance. Yeah, yeah, it has a whole. And, and, um, yeah. What, but what, there are a what, lot of great authors. There are. There, there really are. And, you, you know, you mentioned uh, something earlier about um, a local author, and, you know, we may not be aware of the local authors. I would encourage all of our listeners to support your local authors, you know, because as you have said, there are so many, there's so many gifted authors locally. There are a few here in the Atlanta area that, you know, whenever they write something, I just buy it. You know, I don't, it's half time I don't even know titles. I just buy it because I know, you know, I know they're writing, they're excellent writers, and I always love the journey that they take me on mm. through the pages, of, you know, mm. pages of their book. What, what, what for you constitutes brilliant writing? What, what is it specifically about the writing? I think when you... Uh immediately draw me in to the book right away. I don't mm-hmm. like that I have to read five chapters before I know what you're talking about. I think a brilliant writer has mm-hmm. the ability to pull you into the page right away and hold your attention and not drop you midway the book. That's a brilliant writer. That's a good writer. And I've read wow. books that, um, stories that immediately something happens that made me want to know what happened next. So the key mm-hmm. to me is always immediately saying something, even saying something, even if it is a scene that you just put in there and then you pick it up later, but pull me in immediately. So I don't have to wonder what this is about to make, to pique my interest. That's a brilliant mm-hmm. writer. I've read some good books like that. You know, um, but I like true stories also, you know, um, you know, I don't know if people know who Corey Ten Boom is and she, she her book was called The Hiding Place. And oh, yeah. um, I, oh God in heaven, that book took me to a place <laughs> that, <laughs> that book really took me to a took place to a that was, place. <laughs> um, oh, it took me to a hiding place. And um, there 
very uh, anointed book, ordained, uh, mm-hmm. that God, uh, God breathed on that book, uh, yeah. because it'll change a person's life. It will change a person's life. So, and that's huge when you have a book that can that can you turn that last page, and it's something that just changes your life as you've gone through you know, the pages. Life. Yes, as you've mm-hmm. gone through the pages mm-hmm. of that book, and I see also where you have interviewed Dr. Cindy Trim, who's also oh, yeah. uh, some some yeah. may not be familiar yeah. with her. Wow. Well, Dr. Cindy Trim actually frequent the show for a little bit. Um, Mm -hmm. She's, um, you know, another one of those that uh, walks in a very high anointing. And um, that was awesome, interviewing Dr. Cindy Trim. That was, Mm -hmm. she has, you know, she's she's next level. Next level writing. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Next level. Next level writing. When when we speak of Apostle Beryl Howard, what comes to mind for you? Powerful, anointed, strong, um, and uh, in the faith. Now, like anybody, we have our frailties. Everybody has something, some type of frailty. I do see a very strong anointing. I see a very, um, um, I see somebody that walks. Uh, that ranks uh, that ranks very high. You know how we have um, you know how the diamond and the jury. Uh, the diamond is the highest level. Then you got the what is it? The, I think it's the lion in the animal mm-hmm. kingdom. Then you got a pot of yeah. pearl in the earthly realm in the ministry. <laughs> um, but when I when you call her name, I think um, highly anointed. I think she ranks. She's another next. She's another one of those next level people you know um i you know i if you go to my facebook page you'll see a lot of apostle Earl howard um but that's because um i recognize the anointing i recognize the anointing and um you know uh anybody who knows anything about god anybody who has three spiritual brain cells um hear some of those messages um they are or they're different. They're different. These are not your ordinary, everyday messages. Uh, sometimes she'll say some things that mess with my little spiritual psyche. And so I make sure I save them so I can go and pull them up any time I feel like it, <laughs> you know? Yes. So, know you yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You know, yeah. on this this journey that you have been on, what do you you see that lies ahead or what is it that you possibly have not yet done that you desire to do? On this journey, um, Mm -hmm. every day is, um, every day is a journey, you know, Mm -hmm. um, every day is, I'm not saying that I see something miraculous happen every day, but I do see, see a change in my life. Um, I do see um, the awesomeness the awesomeness of God all around me and as I, I get older um, I see the I see the hands of God on my life even more. As for where um, where do I think is taking me, um, a lot of times I don't realize what God is doing until it's done. Sometimes it's in high Insight that I realize what God was doing, and then I sometimes and, I, and then I get it. As mm-hmm. far as what do I hope to accomplish on this? I think that was your question. Mm-hmm. And what 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 do you see in the future? What's your what vision? do I see in the future? future? My mm-hmm. vision. What's your vision? Mm-hmm. Um, just to be in that place that God has called me, because see, sometimes He keeps surprising me. It keeps surprising me. There's some things that um, that are happening now and some things that have happened that I didn't see coming. Uh, um, I had a, you know, I, I stayed in prayer, but I don't always see some of the things that happen, you know. Um, 
So as far as um, where I'm headed, I'm, my prayer is that I'll have the courage to walk, walk through every door that he opens before me. Mm. And that I have the courage to walk away from whatever door he tells me to walk away from. Because I don't always see ahead. Mm -hmm. So, as I said, I've had quite a few surprises on this journey. So all I know to do is to stay in prayer, Mm -hmm. follow the yellow brick road. (laughs) Okay, stay in Mm -hmm. prayer, follow the path that he puts in front of you. Mm-hmm. Okay? If he say go right, even if you don't know what's on that road, walk on it anyway. Because mm-hmm. that's what he said. Come on now. That's Just right. do it. The yeah. Nike commercial, just, just do it. it. Just, just, just do, do it. it. You know? So my prayer is, my prayer is that I would continue on to do everything that I'll be mindful to to hear when he's speaking, to see when he's trying to show me something, to listen when he's saying something to me. And I'm hoping that I'll finish this race <laughs> the way he would have me to finish it. All I know is that I'm on a path, I'm on a road, and I'm walking as he leads, and I'm just following this road that he has me on. And hopefully, hopefully and prayerfully, that I'll do everything that he's called me to do before I leave this earth. But I don't want to say that, oh, I see myself as this great Mm -hmm. uh, prophet. I see myself as this great evangelist, this great preacher. I see myself as a humble servant of the Lord, just doing whatever he wants me to do. Right. And, you know, what you shared about having the courage as he's opening doors and having the courage to walk through that open door, you know, that, 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 that speaks to faith. I was at the King Center a couple of years, it must have been a couple of years ago now, and there was a little refrigerator magnet. Well, it wasn't that small, but it was a refrigerator magnet. And I bought it, and I look at it every day, and the magnet says, leap, and the net will appear. And as you were sharing, you know, about whatever direction God calls you to go and if he tells you to go right and even if you you don't know just do it that's that do leap it. and the net will mm-hmm. appear because he's open, if he's opened that door for you then there's an opportunity for you on the other side and he will equip you to do whatever it is that he had, has called you to do and as you were speaking I was thinking to myself I said mm, I said this sounds like Heinz Sight. That sounds like mm-hmm. wisdom gained. <laughs> and that's exactly and what it is. Mm-hmm. Exactly yes. What it is. You know, yes. Because as you continue to walk whatever road that God puts you on, even though you don't always see provision, I believe, I've seen everything on that road. When you're on the road that God ordained you to be on, everything on that road starts to rise up to meet you. Mm, come so on the now. thing is that You just keep going. You don't have to see the provision. God has already placed what you need at every destination, at every stop, at every turn, at every corner. What you need is waiting on you. So you just go. You just go. And you watch the things like that magnet. You watch Mm -hmm. the things, how how they come to you. Yes. Yes. Because you have that, you know, you, you, you know, there's such a thing as visual rising and, and, and you know actualization mm-hmm. all of those things they re- they really have mm-hmm. they really have meaning and they really have power and, and you know just like you said you have to just walk God will provide but also know in the midst of all that life's still happening you know life is still happening That's- you know those things that go that you know that we go through in life you know children the relationship and finance his illness, whatever it is, we're still coexisting with that as we're taking this journey. We're still coexisting. Well, you're absolutely with that. right because mm-hmm. life does happen, and there are all kinds of things. One of the things in the, the conference that um, I had spoke about once was spiritual bombs, and spiritual mm-hmm. bombs are those things that can cause. Exp- 
explosions in your life, you know. Um, so as you, when you said that how life just happens, life just happens. Some, you're absolutely right. Sometimes you're sometimes you you you're tempted by things that you shouldn't be tempted by, you know, yeah. and you find yourself in a place that you had no business to be. You know, mm-hmm. um, life just happens. You're actually, you're, you're, you're absolutely right. Um, so we have to try to avoid those. One of the things, as I said, I spoke about with spiritual bombs. We've got to try to be careful to avoid those spiritual bombs and um, that will cause explosions in our lives and those spiritual daggers, my God, mm. that can cause Ooh. discomfort in our lives. You know, we have daggers. to avoid those things because life, spiritual daggers, <laughs> you know, um, that sometimes can uh, cause discomfort in our lives. So. Yes, yes. And once again, those who are in the Hartford, Connecticut area, or even if you're not in the Hartford, Connecticut area, and you're able to travel to the Hartford, Connecticut area, this conference and my sister Anna, Anna Stevenson will be a part of this conference taking place in October, October, Friday, October 18th through Saturday, October 19th. And they can go to the... VeraHowardMinistries.com for more info, correct? Yes, absolutely. They can go to VeraHowardMinistries.com. They can also, um, the conference is only $35 a day. Um, So they can do Cash App. That's, uh, you know, the little dollar sign, of course. (laughs) Veral Howard, that's V-E-R-Y-L, Howard. They can do Zelle. They can also go to her Facebook page and you'll see all the flyers and all the information information is there. But if they also go to www.burlhowardministries.com and they can go ahead and get registered and they, you know, get registered now. <laughs> they can get registered yes. and, um, you know, and get all the information that they need about this conference. And uh, uh, this conference is ordained by God. This is a God movement. Um, this is bigger than just uh, some people coming together to uh, uh, worship and praise God. This is a move of God. It really is, and I've seen, because I know what I've seen in this conference, and uh, I've seen people get delivered and set free. I believe this is going to be one of these conferences this time that um, uh, you know what happened on the day of Pentecost. You know when they were all um, on one accord. Um, and they spoke in different languages. If you speak Dutch, are you going to hear yourself? You're going to hear Dutch in there. If you speak uh, mm-hmm. Creole, you're going to hear Creole in there. If you speak uh, Latin, you're going to hear some it's Cuban in there, Latin. some language in there. You know, I believe that this is that kind of move of God. Mm-hmm. This woman mm-hmm. warriors on the front line conference. Amen. 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 And is there anything else that you'd like to share with us in regard to uh, your journey, your ministry, and what you're doing, your social media, your website? Well, um, my show is Spiritual Downloads with Anna Stevenson. Um, You can also go to spiritualdownloads.blogspot.com, and a whole lot of stuff will come up about me. Um, I'm on Saturdays at 4 o'clock. You can Google Spiritual Downloads with Anna Stevenson. We're on several stations, 95.3 FM, um, WNN AM 1470, iHeartRadio. Uh, there's another station, Road to Paradise, that's in Key Largo, Florida, that also goes over to the Bahamas. And, and uh, so um, that's basically it. And uh, it would be great if anybody could tune in. Um, for those who don't live in Florida, you can also go to to our website, which is uh, www.radio.com at 4 o'clock and just click on Listen Live and you'll hear Spiritual Downloads with Anna Stevenson. My sister, thank you so much. I have enjoyed this conversation. I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I have. And we are looking forward to great things. We are definitely going to stay connected as we both continue to this journey, and I just thank you so much for the conversation. Well, thank you for having me. And again, for those who haven't registered yet, uh, 
<laughs> get yourself registered. Remember, go to www.burlhowardministries.com. And remember, and for those who can't go, you know, you might even want to sew, you know, a sponsor mm. somebody else if you can't go. Okay? Yeah. It's only that's, $35 that's always, a day. Yeah. That's always a, yes. a, a blessing to sponsor someone. Yes. Has, have the opportunity yes. to do that as well. It's always a blessing to sponsor someone. So thank you so much. I would I would uh, invite you to pray us out, but I want to check with Batman, see if he has anything he'd like to add. No, okay. you guys are good to go. Pray, uh, prayers all right, out. All right. Well, once again, my sister, thank you so much for joining us here on Late Night Radio with Jerry Voice Live and Paula G sitting in for the one and only Shay Samuels. Uh, we wish you all the best, and we pray that God will continue to work in and through you. He will continue to open those doors of opportunity for you, and he will reach down and meet you at your point of need. So we thank you so very much. And you can pray us out, and we okay. will be ending okay. our show. Well, yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this night. We thank you that your word says we're two or three or more gathered in your name. There you are in the midst of them. Thank you for being in the midst of us tonight. Thank Thank you for the God that can do exceedingly abundantly above all we could act or think. We thank you that your words are settled and established in the heavens and nobody can change it. We thank you for being our Jehovah Jireh, our provider. We thank you for being our Jehovah Nisi. We thank you for being the God that is that can do anything but fail. We thank yeah. you for this radio show. We thank you that you bless Paula and Royce, God. We pray that you meet all of their needs according according to your riches and glories. And we thank you, God, for this radio show, God. We pray that you take them to higher heights and deeper depths, increase in their radio audience, and enlarge their territories. Meet every need according to your riches and glory. And I pray that you grant them the desires of their hearts. And I thank you and I praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. And ladies and gentlemen, Thank you so much for joining us right here on Positive Power 21 Late Night Radio with Jerry Royce Live. Paula G sitting in for the one and only Shay Samuels. Don't forget to stay tuned, to tune in to all of the, the, the dynamic shows that are here on Positive Power 21 each night of the week. Don't forget to stay connected with us. And my sister coming up, Lakeisha Mosley, has a healing conference this coming weekend. Uh, so we want to make sure that you Bless her by her attendance. You bless her by her support. She's a mighty woman of God. We love her, and we wish her well this coming weekend at her healing conference. And Batman, Robot, I think that will do it for us this evening. Much love to each and every one of you. Feel the power and embrace the journey. Good night. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of double X. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. All right, family, don't forget, don't forget, that's right, the Lakeisha Mosley, that's right, and the Lakeisha Mosley Show will be in Centerville, Maryland, at the Kenart High School, one of the only high schools that was a, that allowed African Americans to attend back in the 50s and the 60s, and it's now a beautiful museum, so it'll be worth the trip out there, it's only about, uh, I think, 20 minutes once you cross the Bay Bridge, so it's on the other side of the Bay, that's right, because Maryland, a lot of people don't know, Maryland is divided into two. That's right, two pieces. <laughs> I forgot what they call it, but it's, 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 it's the eastern and the western shore. Yeah, it's dividing the two shores, my bad. So anyway, come on out and join us. The eastern shore is so beautiful. That's where we get all our beautiful tasting crab meat and shrimp. That's right. So the seafood is out of this world. So you got to come on out and join us. Get yourself some fried fish. But we're going to be there. We're going to be there at, from 12 to 4, the, the Free Yourself Healing Conference with Lakeisha Mosley. Uh, also, we're going to have our gospel recording artist. You've seen him on 
Impact Television with Dr. Dr. Bobby Jones and that is Norris Williams is going to be here and also we're going to have Todd Bowden she's a local superstar of on the Eastern Shore very stylish you got to come check her out very friendly very humble her and her husband and uh, we're going to have um, some powerful speakers Leroy that's right Leroy Allen from Silver Spring uh, he has a coaching school and um, he's going to be there to uh, speak some 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 serious life into us, y'all. So come on out to join us for the Lakeisha Mosey. That's right, Free Yourself uh, Conference. That's right, the Healing Conference, right on the Eastern Shore of Maryland. But those of you that's on the Eastern Shore that follow us, please share the file and bring somebody. That's right, we got tickets available. There's 104 tickets available. Tickets will be available at the door. So uh, bring your money. Let's have some fun, y'all. It's also going to be televised. Uh, for the Lakeisha Moses. So a couple interviews will be done because she does need some episodes for her show that airs in Georgia. That's right. Her show is airing in DeKalb County on um, Channel 25 in DeKalb County, one of the one of the most wealthiest counties in uh, Georgia uh, for African Americans. So it's a very progressive uh, television station. And shout out to Aviva for um, hosting. She hosts seven of our television shows, which is so awesome. It all runs on Comcast. And also, you catch my journey on WATC 57 with Paula G, the voice. That's right. You catch her show, My Journey, airs on Thursdays at uh, 1130 a.m. That's right. You catch it on www.watc2too.tv. Or you can catch it on demand on mvtv-21.com. That's right. It's all on demand. She has her own channel. You can find about, I think we have the 30 episodes. That's right. We're going to the second season. Of my journey with Paula G, which is so remarkable. So, check us out, y'all. We got a lot going on. We just finished filming a couple more episodes of The Red Room. You catch The Red Room also in DeKalb County. That's right, on Channel 25. You also can catch it on www.decab25.com. If you're not in the Atlanta area and can, you know, got access to or have digital cable, digital television, because it also airs on digital television. All right, that's it, y'all. We got so much going on, but please tune in um, tomorrow night. That's right, tomorrow night we got Shalonda Williams. That's right. Also, we got, I think Dr. V starts tomorrow. I got to check with Dr. V. I think Dr. V show starts tomorrow. I think she starts at 8 o'clock, and then we got a little break, and then we have Shalonda Williams with Inspirational Treasure. It runs from 10 to 12. You uh, Inspiring, empowering uh, co-host. It comes on with her, so come on out and hang with us, y'all. And also, uh, um, for those of you that have been asking about Sister Jean Turner, she's doing marvelous right now. We hope to see her soon on October 11th. That's right. We'll be at the Black Box, the Good Acting Studio in Marietta, Georgia. That's right. The Good Acting Studio with Mario Good. We're going to be hanging out with him and his team. Uh, we're going to be filming My Journey. It's, uh, tickets are available. A few tickets are left for those who are interested in being part of the studio audience and come meet the Batman. That's right. Shay Samuels going to be there. You get to meet Mo. Washington, an award-winning author. Also get a chance to meet V Speak Life. That's right. She's also another author. And um, I think it's some more people. Oh, and Lakeisha's going to be there. So those of, you, those of you that's in Atlanta area like to meet Lakeisha, Lakeisha will be there also. So we're going to have a great time. So come on out. We'll be there from, I believe, 5 to 11. So come on out. Get your tickets. You can find it on My Journey with Paula G. Eventbrite. So we got a lot going on, y'all. Paula, Paula G has um, put it out there. Positive Power is, 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 is kingdom building. That's what we're here to do, to help empower and inspire those of you, and, and also to be transparent, because a lot of us have walked that, that walk that hasn't been, um, a, you know, of coming of God. So, But we're, we're doing our thing now. We're working. We're serving and um, spreading the good news of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. I'm Jerry Rose Live Worldwide, a.k.a. the Batman of Charm City. Have a good night, everybody. And uh, we'll see you on Tuesday. Peace out. Hit it, robot. Sing unto God. Sing praises. To his name. Extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name, Jah, and redeemeth.